Eighth grade, unit four, lesson 14, solving more systems. Problem number one, solve. It tells you that y equals 6x, so you can substitute this y with 6x. Now the equation reads 4x plus 6x equals 7. Now we can combine like terms. 4x plus 6x equals 10x. Let's find out how much the value is for 1x. We'll do that by dividing both sides by 10. 10x divided by 10 is x, and 7 divided by 10 is 7 tenths. So x equals 7 tenths. Now we can solve for y by substituting the x with 7 tenths. y equals 6 times 7 tenths. 6 times 7 tenths equals 42 tenths. So y equals 42 tenths, or y equals 4.2. We figured out that x equals 7 tenths and y equals 4 and 2 tenths. Therefore, the solution for the system of equation is 7 tenths and 4 and 2 tenths. Problem number 2. Solve. y equals 3x. We can substitute the y with the 3x. Now the equation reads x equals negative 2 times 3x plus 70. Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. x equals negative 6x plus 70. Let's add 6x to both sides. Now we have 7x equals 0 plus 70, or 7x equals 70. Let's divide both sides by 7. 7x divided by 7 is 1x, or x, and 70 divided by 7 is 10, so x equals 10. Now we can substitute the x with a 10. y equals 3 times 10. y equals 30. x equals 10 and y equals 30. The solution for the system of equations is 10 and 30. Problem number 3. Which equation, together with y equals negative 1.5x plus 3, makes a system with one solution? Equation A has the same slope and different y-intercept. Therefore, the lines of these two equations will never intersect. They will share no solution since they are parallel lines. Equation B also has the same slope and different y-intercept. Therefore, the lines of these two equations will never intersect. They will share no solution since they are parallel lines. Divide all the terms on both sides of the equal sign by 2. And now the equation reads y equals negative 1.5x plus 3. Equation C has the same slope and the same y-intercept. Therefore, the lines of these two equations are the same line. They will share infinitely many solutions, not just one. Subtract 3x from both sides of the equal sign for equation D. And the equation now reads 2y equals negative 3x plus 6. Divide all the terms by 2. And now the equation reads y equals negative 1.5x plus 3. Equation D has the same slope and the same y-intercept. Therefore, these two lines are also the same line. And they too will share infinitely many solutions, not just one. Equation E. y equals negative 2x plus 3. The slope is different than the original equation, but the y-intercept is the same. Both equations will form different lines, but they will cross at the y-intercept 0, 3 because they have the same y-intercept. Equation E will share one solution with the equation y equals 1.5x plus 3. Problem number four. The system x minus 6y equals 4 and 3x minus 18y equals 4 has no solution. First, I'd like to rewrite these equations in slope-intercept form so you can see why this system has no solution. After subtracting x from both sides on the equation on the left, and subtracting 3x from both sides on the equation from the right, we need to divide both sides by negative 6 for the equation on the left 
and divide both sides by negative 18 for the equation on the right. Now we have both of the equations written in slope-intercept form. We can see that they have the same slope and different y-intercept. These two equations have the same slope and different y-intercept. Therefore, the two lines will never cross. They are parallel lines. A. Change one constant or coefficient to make a new system with one solution. I will change the first coefficient of x in the first equation to negative 1. This way I will end up with different slopes and different y-intercepts, and the two lines will cross at some point. Let's write it in slope-intercept form by adding x to both sides, divide both sides by negative 6, and we can rearrange the order of the right side to make it slope-intercept form. This equation reads y equals 1 sixth x minus 2 thirds. And you can see the slope is 1 sixth and the y-intercept is negative 2 thirds. Different slopes and different y-intercepts and the two lines will cross at one point. B. Change one constant or coefficient to make a new system with an infinite number of solutions. Change the second equation to 3x minus 18y equals 12. This equation has the same slope and the same y-intercept. The two equations will share infinitely many solutions. Problem number 5 from 8th grade unit 3 lesson 11. Match each graph to its equation. Graph A has a y-intercept of 3 and a slope of down 4 and to the left 2. And so that would be a slope of 2. So we need to look for an equation that has a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of 3. That would be number 1. Graph A matches with equation number 1. Graph B has a y-intercept of negative 3 and the slope has a rise of 2 and a run of 1, which is a slope of 2. We need to find an equation that has a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of negative 3. And that would be equation number 3. Equation number 3 matches with graph B. Graph C has a y-intercept of 3 and a slope that has a rise of negative 2 and a run of positive 1. That would be a negative 2 slope. So we need to find an equation that has a negative 2 slope and a y-intercept of 3. And that would be equation number 2. Graph C matches with equation number 2. Graph D has a y-intercept of negative 3 and a negative 2 slope. Graph D matches with equation 4. Problem number 6 from 8th grade unit 3 lesson 10. Here are two points, negative 3 and 4 and 1 and 7. What is the slope of the line between them? Remember, the slope is the difference between y1 and y2 over x1 and x2. So let's substitute 4 and 7 to represent y1 minus y2 and negative 3 and 1 to represent x1 and x2. So 4 minus 7 is negative 3 and negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Negative 3 over negative 4 is equivalent to 3 fourths. So the slope is B, 3 fourths. Help me disrupt YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks. I appreciate it.